Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Mandy. Today I have an Aldi, Publix, and a Walmart haul for you. Unstoppables. These were a lot less than what Walmart had them. Walmart's was like $16 and these were $8 for the same size. This is a, what is it, 13.4 ounces. So I went ahead and got one from Aldi. I also needed some ketchup, we're almost out. I really cannot tell that huge of a difference between Heinz ketchup and um, Aldi's brand, so I just went ahead and got some of that. And then the kids really like the popcorn chicken from Aldi. And I needed some frozen corn for a particular recipe. I also got a couple of, um, my camera battery, I got a couple of cucumbers. And then my girls absolutely loves these yogurt bites. They're for toddlers. <laughs> you would think I was getting them for Kaysen, but um, actually I got them for Emmy and Bella. Bella likes the mixed berry and Emmy likes the strawberry. I don't buy those too often because these are like $2.15 a bag and there's hardly any in there. So I don't get those very often. Bella went to Aldi with me and she wanted some pretzels. And then I needed some fresh cilantro, so I got some of that. Some broccoli. I like how they had this um, packaged already. Usually it's not like that, but I like how they're doing that now. I needed some onions, so I went ahead and just got a bag of onions. Um, some keto-friendly bread. I'm not doing keto, I am doing lower carb, higher protein. So I do like to get the keto bread and have sandwiches every now and then, or just have toast with my eggs and bacon in the morning or something like that. And then I also saw these bagel skinnies. I thought this would be good um, to switch my breakfast up a little bit. Toast these, put some cream cheese on it, have some strawberries on the side, bacon, eggs, whatever, or do like a, like a bacon, what is it from McDonald's? The bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Um, I could do that with this. It's 110 calories for one. And then it does have 23 grams of carbs in it. Um, if you're doing net carbs, then you would subtract the dietary fiber, which is four grams. And it does have four grams of protein in it. Um, I needed some ricotta cheese for a recipe I'm gonna try out. And for that same recipe, I needed some marinara sauce, but when I was looking at the ingredients and everything, this had uh, less calories than marinara and less carbs as well. So I went for the tomato and basil. And then the kids were all out of muffins, so I got some blueberry. There's party, party muffins back there, and then the brownie muffins. Uh, Bella wanted some honey buns. She was having some sweet cravings. And I also got this for Bella, the chewy granola bars. And then I got these for myself. Um, I love these things, they are so good. There's three grams of net carbs in them, uh, seven grams of protein, and 170 calories. So not too bad for a little snack. I try to have um, 100 to 200 calories for snack. If you hear screaming, uh, Kaysen is in Bella's room. <laughs> She's watching him for me so I can film this. Anyways, these are really, really good. Very good for a little snack. And then I got some raisins for Jason and Kaysen. They both like raisins very much. So that's everything from Aldi. All of the cereal that we got was buy one get one free so I got frosted mini wheats, honey smacks, and fruit loops. It's been a while since I bought the good kind of cereal for the kids that they like. The chips were buy one get one free so I got the sour cream and onion for Emmy and then wavy chips for Bella. We're gonna watch a movie tonight and Bella, not Bella, Emmy wanted to get the popcorn. Publix popcorn is so good. The Oreos were buy one get one free so I got a mint Oreo and the birthday cake Oreo for the kids. Publix pepperoni. If you guys have watched any of my grocery hauls, you know that I love the Publix pepperoni. It's absolutely delicious. This will be a good high protein snack for me. For 10, no, for eight slices, there's six grams of protein, 130 calories, so not too bad. Um, I love their pepperoni. If you have a Publix, which I know that they just opened one up in Kentucky, so, if you're in Kentucky, then head out to your Publix and get you some pepperoni. <laughs> 
The bacon was buy one get one free so I got two of the maple and then two of the natural hickory smoked. I like the thick cut bacon. I just prefer that over regular bacon. The pop tarts were BOGO as well so Bella picked out her flavors. She wanted, Emmy said she didn't want any so Bella got the frosted s'mores and then the frosted cookies and cream, which is like an Oreo. Um, I got two big packs of chicken breast. It's skinless, boneless chicken breast. This was buy one, get one free, y'all. I was surprised that they had this as buy one, get one. So for two of these packs, I only paid, usually whenever you do a, a BOGO, and if it's something like this that's measured by the weight, you have to pay for the more expensive one. But when I was looking at my receipt, they took off for the $22 one. The other one below it is only $21 and something. So I got both of these for $21. Um, these are huge chicken breasts too. So what I'll do is just divide them up. Probably, since they're so big, I'll probably just put three in a bag, in a Ziploc bag and freeze them. For a recipe I'm gonna try next week, I needed some ground pork, so I got the country style pork sausage. And Emmy saw these on their clearance shelf. I have no idea what they're gonna taste like. It's candy cane forest mellow cream candy. So it looks like there's peppermint flavor, toasted marshmallow, maple syrup, and frosted sugar cookie. She took the sticker off. I don't know how much it cost, but I said, okay, you can get it. We can try it and see what it's like. So I just wanted to say that I tried these and they were very, very good. So next year, if you see these in the store, go ahead and get them. The Taco Bell taco seasoning was buy one, get one free. Usually I make my own taco seasoning, but I've just been in the mood for Taco Bell's flavor, so, and it was BOGO, so I went ahead and got two of those. Um, I got a bunch of peppers because one of the recipes, I think it's for, with that sausage, uh, it's stuffed peppers, it's a recipe I'm gonna try, I found it on Pinterest, so I got a bunch of peppers, I got an orange, yellow peppers, and then two green peppers. I got two steak tomatoes, beef steak tomatoes, I got five avocados. This was a really good deal. It was five for five dollars, and then I had a digital coupon for two dollars off of that. So I got five avocados for three dollars. So not too bad. The baby spinach, I really only needed one bag of it, but it was two for six dollars. So I went ahead and got two bags of it, and I'll just go ahead and use the what I don't need for this one recipe. I'll use it in salads for the week. I got two gallons of milk. Now this was a wick item for casein, so I did not have to pay for that. And two bottles of the juice. The juice was buy one, get one free, um, which is also a wick item as well. The ranch dressing was buy one, get one free. And the crackers, BOGO as well. Uh, Emmy didn't want to pick any out, so Bella got peanut butter. She really likes those. The strawberries were three for $10, so I got three of those. The raspberries were buy one, get one free. And these are also part of the wick. He gets $26 to go towards produce. It can be fresh produce or frozen produce. So I, I usually always get like fresh produce, which is the berries and stuff like that because we love strawberries and stuff. Kaysen loves it. So all of this was covered by wick. And then I got a cabbage, a head of cabbage. For a recipe, I needed Napa cabbage. I had never heard of it. I guess it's like some type of um, oriental cabbage, but hopefully this will work for the recipe I'm gonna be making. And then a head of lettuce, and then the Lunchables. These were buy three, get three free. So, and I price checked it. It was worked out to be cheaper than Walmart and Aldi, actually. So I got two turkey and cheddar. They only had one chicken nugget one, and then three ham and cheddar. And these I'll just put in Emmy's lunch and then give her like a side of fruit and maybe a couple boiled eggs or a meat stick or something like that. So she'll have a little more protein, but those are gonna be for her lunch. And I think that's it from Publix. Um, so whenever my Walmart gets here, I will show you that. All right, my Walmart order just arrived. It's really small. There were two things that they didn't have. Um, it was a big box of Frito-Lay chips, at 18 count. I ordered two of them, they didn't have it. I needed some lasagna for a recipe I'm gonna be trying out. Some mozzarella cheese. 
Isabella wanted some sun chips whenever we were in Aldi, but I price checked it and they were actually cheaper at Walmart, so I ordered those from Walmart. Um, this Chipotle peppers I needed for a particular recipe. And then I was completely out of uh, black pepper. I like the coarse black pepper for cooking. And then I needed regular black pepper for like my salt and pepper shakers um, to go on the table. So I got a box of that or a can, I should say. And then I was completely out of basil. I needed this the other day for a recipe, but I didn't have any. So I went ahead and ordered some. And then for a particular recipe, I needed some ground turkey. Hopefully it's ground good. Turkey? I don't ground turkey. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. I don't usually use ground turkey, but I thought I'd go ahead and ground give it a try. Turkey? And that is everything from Walmart. I'll put the totals of everything on the screen. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.